Hey guys, this is Goblin Man 7 with another video. Uh, this video is another magic video. I'm going to go over a little uh, magic variation that you can play. It's kind of a variation of uh, Mini Masters or also known as uh, Booster Pack Wars. So it's just another way that you can play it. Uh, say if you are somewhere and you crack open a few packs and you have no lands kicking around. Uh, this is actually a way that you can play uh, the game without lands, without the need of lands, because basically uh, with this variant, the cards themselves uh, would end up producing the mana that you need, so uh, eliminating the need for any lands. So I'm going to go over this really quick uh, without taking too much time up. So um, let's say this is your booster pack of 15 cards. You just cracked it open. I'm just using some random commons that I have from a uh, cube I have lying around here. So, um, if you're using if if you're using uh, like a like a booster pack or a bunch of random cards, if you have 15 or 20 or something like that, that's not very many. So what I would probably do with it, you know with that amount of cards is just deal out a starting hand of five. And then, you know, mulliganing's free, but yeah, just deal yourself uh, out a starting hand of five uh, instead of seven cards. If you had more than 15 or 20 cards, you know, if you had 30 non land cards uh, or 40 or whatever like that, then you don't need to. You can still draw seven cards just as normal. So here we go. We will uh, draw our three, four, five, our hand of five, and then that'll be our library. So I just want to go over. Uh, how this would work very quickly. So here's the starting hand here. Now this would maybe be similar to what you get in a booster pack because of course they're uh, all different cards and all different types, you know, artifacts. And this also would work for artifacts, enchantments. Any it'll work for any non-land cards essentially. Uh, this ga this variant. So. You know, basically, um, the gold cards, there are two cards here, they're gold cards. There, there's two, There's this one has red, blue, and this one has green and black, or black and green. Now, in this case, this would act as a dual land. So, if you wanted uh, to play one of these as a land to generate either red or blue, take this one, for example. Uh, say you didn't, you didn't want this card, you didn't want to play this card later. So, you would play it as a land. Uh, but of course, it would come in tapped because just as the case with dual lands, common dual lands, they come into play tapped. So if you did that at the start, it'd be tapped, and then uh, the other person would play, and then when the turn comes back to me, it would untap as usual, and then you could tap it to generate either uh, blue or red mana. So we've got there whatever colors are here. So even if there was a card that had three, the same thing would, would work. So then you would, you know, uh, turn two, you draw a card, um, draw a black card here. So you've got one red or one blue, you know, and then basically you would keep on playing. So if you wanted black mana to get this, to work toward this guy, you'd, you'd play this as, a, as a, a land card, and then you'd have one red or blue mana, or one or red or blue land, and one uh, black land, because there's just black here. So that's the only one you could use. If you played an artifact as a land, then it would work as colorless, of course. So it wouldn't actually have a color, but it would work as a colorless uh, mana source. So, um, and then you just keep playing, basically. You try to work your way to play some cards. Uh, you, you'll obviously you'll keep drawing, so it's not like you're going to completely deplete your hand or, or your you know, or your or what's in your hand, because you're going to keep drawing, and eventually you're going to have the uh, the right number of lands here to play the cards in your hand and it's um as i said it's kind of a neat if you want to switch things up for mini masters when you actually have three lands of each color uh and play like this and you don't have to lug around a bunch of land cards all the time because as i said these every card can act as either a land source or it can uh, be a card and by the way in this variant if somebody destroys, uh, if, if, if he plays a card, if your opponent plays a card that says destroy target land, 
these are still considered lands, of course, these cards. So you could destroy one of these, and it would quote, go to your graveyard, say you destroyed uh, this, this one, this dual one, the red-blue. Now, if you had a card in your hand that, uh, that was able to pull this from your graveyard, pull a permanent, um, if it was a land pull, this would count as a land because you played it as a land. So if it's a return target land from your library, it's the same. Now, if it said a creature, if it was a creature like this, and it was a land and it was here, you could still pull this back into your hand and play it. You could pull it from the graveyard to your hand and play it either as a land at some point, or you could actually play it normally as a creature because, of course, it's back in your hand. And if, you, if you're blue and you return a, a card, a permanent from here to your hand, it can, if it's gone back in your hand, the same rule applies. You can play it either as a land source, a mana source, or you can use it as a creature or an instant or an artifact or an enchantment. So, um, and this is very fun. I've tried this out uh, with a cube and it works very well. Um, so this is a, I'm going to go over some other uh, variations, but this is one of my favorite variations when you've got some booster packs lying around or just some random cards from a cube or random cards of any kind that you just want to use to, to have a battle with your buddies. Um, and it's a quick way to get into a game and uh, to, you know, to do that. So, so uh, this variation of um, Mini Masters or Pack Wars is brought to you by Goblin Man 7 If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments uh, area of YouTube. And I'm happy to hear your feedback. And also... Uh, subscribe to my channel, leave the comments. I love your feedback and how I can make this channel better. Um, and thank you very much for your support. And uh, that's about all. Until next time. Thanks, guys.